Chelsea's next three transfer priorities, including Marcus Thuram after £88 million Mikhail Modric deal. Welcome back to Chelsea Online. Subscribe for all your latest Chelsea news. The signing of Mikhail Modric was the Blues' fifth January arrival, but Todd Boyley looked to be still fresh in the January market. After beating Arsenal in an intense transfer battle to sign Shakhtar Donetsk star Mikhail Modric, Chelsea took their January spending to £162.7 million for five new arrivals, despite also parting with £278.4 million in the summer. Todd Bailey does not appear completely satisfied, and with two weeks of the January transfer window remaining, more incomings to Stamford Bridge appear likely. The recent injury suffered by Sterling was a blow and with Christian Pulisic also subbed off with an issue in the same game, a rapid switch is where the Blues transfer priority was occurred. The opening week of the window was focused on Benfica star Enzo Fernandez, but after the double injury blow in the front line and lack of attacking vigor in the defeat to Fulham, Chelsea moved quickly to sign two forwards in less than seven days. Modric's arrival isn't the end of Chelsea's business, Jacobs explained. They are still exploring Moses Sacedo, Marcus Thuram, and Noni Madweke. Thuram is the budget option from the three but hotly in demand. Chelsea have to convince him to join now as opposed to picking his next club over the summer. Thuram has built a decent reputation for him in the Bundesliga in recent seasons. The quick and powerful forward caught the eye of the Winter World Cup with France recently, which is why some English audience may be aware of him. Speculations above suggest he could be available for a bargaining price this month due to his contract situation, so snapping him up for the second half of the season could be great. However, it sounds like he may be a free agent in the summer and even cheaper for potential suitors. The one to watch in midfield is Brighton's Moses Sassiedo. Graham Potter would love to bring him to Stamford Bridge. Brighton CEO Paul Barber told me he's yet to receive an offer, but there is a real feeling within the industry that Chelsea will move. Sassiedo will command a fee of at least £70 million, and even that's right at the low end in terms of estimating. Chelsea are prepared to pay £60 million, but fear Brighton want more like £75 to £80 million. Brighton will use the Mark Cucurella deal, £60 million, and no doubt Modric's fee to their advantage should negotiations proceed. But even if Sassiedo doesn't arrive in January, I fully expect Chelsea to try again in the summer. Sassiedo would likely be seen as the most high-profile signing of the three and appears to be the ideal Enzo Fernandez alternative, while a move for Madweke is somewhat surprising given his injuries this season. Thank you for watching and do not forget to share, like, subscribe and keep an eye on my channel to keep updated. Thank you.